Hello everybody, it is 8.57, Saturday, April 28th, and just wanted to share it a little bit with you guys. I'm out and about, and uh, was looking at how we have some of these people today going around professing to be Christian, and uh, even pastors in their... Uh, You know, coming against the things that are tearing this nation apart right now. And it's meant to happen. Everything's happening exactly according to God's plan. But uh, one thing's for certain. Um, we have we have people that are, uh, you know, bringing up old laws. Saying that uh, certain people ought to be killed if they're not, you know, according, if, if you know, same sex things. When we know good and well that Jesus Christ, if you look at the woman that they wanted to stone, Jesus said the first one without sin, let them cast a stone, which nobody did. And uh, they're overlooking this, and I think it's deliberate. Um, Jesus Christ came here that anybody that should believe in him and repent of their sins, pick up the cross and follow him, that they would be saved. And just like the rich man that was at the, uh, came and said, how must I be saved? And he told them what to do. And then they, the disciple says, well, if they can't, you know, if a rich man, if it's barely hard, how could it be possible for him to enter the kingdom of heaven? And he said, through God, all things are possible. And that's what Jesus Christ came here for. You know, so even those that are uh, underneath the, uh, it doesn't matter, man. You're homosexual, you're an adulterer, whatever. Jesus came here to, for the remission of sins to make a way for people to come. That's how all things are possible. Um, so when people are quoting old scripture about doing stuff there and they're not even mentioning what Jesus Christ did at the cross, I, I can't believe those type of people, what I'm hearing, you know, because um, Jesus came here for this purpose. But either way... Um, you guys, we have we have some time left here to finish. We're not nobody's going anywhere until uh, until we see great tribulation starting. You know what we're seeing right now is a dismantling of America. The roots, the foundations of it, is being stripped away, and uh, they have been beating every drum possible you got to remember this is a spiritual battle okay it's not flesh and blood yeah these people are doing it but they're being controlled spiritually this is judgment judgment and another thing you know people from the beginning as as god said he's the alpha the omega the beginning and the end he knows everything you know so ain't nothing going to be changed in between here because it's all been set. Our names have been in the book of life since the beginning of the foundation of the world. He didn't open our eyes for you know for failure here. He opened our eyes so we'd see it, see it coming. And I clearly see it coming. So, I mean, I have no reservations about anything. And I know who's in control, no matter what's happening around me. Uh, the Lord God, he's in control of everything. So, you know, don't. Don't be worried about whatever anybody might be saying. Just remember who's in control of all this. That's what matters. And don't, you know, because when you start getting fearful of other things, you're forgetting who's power, who's in control of everything. That's God. You know, just remember he's, he's in control, not of whatever anybody else is, you know, worried about here. You know, remember who's, don't deny his power. You know, because it says many people are denying the power of him. You know, he's in control. That's one of my messages here, you guys. You need to remember that. Don't be worried about it. As you see these things falling apart, just remember who's in control. The devil couldn't even uh, touch Job without per asking permission from God to do anything. God's the creator of all things, even of evil, for the day of evil. That's what's happening right now. This place is being dismantled. It's being taken apart because there's something better coming, you know, so he's getting rid of this. 
I mean, look at it, man. I, w I wouldn't want to continue in a world like this, man. It's getting sicker and filthier. You know, but my message has, has also been, you know, scoffers, if you can stop scoffing, I hope and pray so, because um, you're not going to like what's coming. You know, and you need to repent of your sins, whether they're uh, homosexual or whatever they are. Uh, an adulterer, you know, you need to repent of your sins. Change your ways while you can, while you still can, while you may still be found. You know, you don't, this is your eternity you're messing with here. I wouldn't be messing with that. He's in control no matter, you know, this is your last time. I wouldn't mess around with that. But anyhow, God bless you guys. I hope and pray that you get something out of this message. And remember, God's in control from the beginning to the end. Just like our names have been in the book of the foundations from the beginning. You know, so nobody can take that from you. Whatever deceiving or tricks they say that, that's going on and how they're going to try to deceive. You know, I mean, I don't watch a lot of this stuff. I just hear about it sometimes. And I'm like, wow, you know, don't forget who's in control here. God's in control. You know, so let your faith be in that, okay? God bless you. In Jesus' name.